Valentine. Welcome. Your killing Belial was such pleasant entertainment. I couldn't do it myself, you see, but with his bestowed immortality, the laws governing the sorcery wouldn't sanction it. But now, he is gone. And that leaves you. You, my dear boy, and I. Not for much longer. You know, I think he means to kill me. <laughs> that would be unwise, Adam. The sword without the shrine is useless against Florentine's flesh. For as long as he remains within the chamber. <laughs> the sword and shrive were once born. And this chamber is the last place in creation where they can become one again. Only then, when the two are joined, can my flesh be destroyed. Welcome back to part 43 of Let's Play Realms of the Haunting. Here we see our hero make the ultimate screw-up, um, not only damning himself, but the world as well. Forget it. I'm not fighting you. Not until you tell me what's happened to Rebecca. That hard. <laughs> You ask me what has become of her? I rather thought you would have the answer to that. <laughs> I am the only thing that stands between you and the restoration of balance. Order. Once again to the world of mankind. No. You're hiding something. I'm gonna go with my instincts on this. And achieve what? Your death? Know that I can crush you where you stand. Go on then. What are you waiting for? Does this make your task any easier? <laughs> okay, so I actually really like that part. I like how he goes, Oh, I can destroy you. Well, go on then! Anyway, we're not past the point of no return just yet. You can still go the right way after seeing that video. But that's not what this is about. That's it, basically. 
So, uh, I, I take it Satan takes the form of Gaul, kills Hawk, maybe Florentine, who knows, but definitely you, and decides to leave you in hell by the gate. Anyway, we still have a small ways to go, so join me for the final part of Let's Play Realms of the Haunting.